Hey guys, what's up? It's Swampy. Now guys, I've gotten so many requests on tutorials. Um, you know, how do I make my banners? How do I make my APIs? Um, how do I put together GFX packs? Yeah, I've really gotten that. Um, but I finally found some time to answer one of your questions. And I don't have too much time, so I'm going to try to make this quick. And I decided to pick the easiest out of all of these. And that is how to make an AVI um for a team member or a clan member um, whatever you want to call it so the first thing that I'll do is I'll load up a PSD um, I have a whole uh, debacle of PSDs I have bad PSDs that don't look good and then I have some good PSDs that do look pretty good um, uh, so yeah so I'm going to just use this psycho PSD I'm going to make this for psycho Colby so really quick I'm just going to change up the text um, and I will um, show you all the layer styles that I've got on here um, so uh, yeah so once you load up your PSD sometimes it does come with uh, you know the layer styles already on it but sometimes it doesn't so the first thing that I do is for text um, I put a white stroke and a inner shadow and that's it um, so yeah so that's what I do for the text and for the logo always make sure that you have a good PSD and what I mean by a good PSD is one with a 2d layer and a 3d layer I don't actually I have one that is acceptable because um, basically what those do is they make it so much easier to make an AVI you just put a clipping mask on you know there's no erasing these parts of the logo the 3d parts there's none of that all it is, is you just clipping mask and you're done so um, basically what you're gonna want is you're gonna want a 2d which is just you know the logo and then a 3d which is extrusions from the logo which is like this black and this black parts these black parts um, what I have is I have a 3d logo and then a overlay of the 3d part so when I create a clipping mask on this it'll go back here too which that's what you're trying to avoid but I um, use the brush and I fill it in with another on another layer that's above that so it'll cover up that clipping mask and make it look like it's just black so that was pretty confusing I know um, but yeah so all I did to this was I just put a color overlay on it um, I didn't really need it I just put it on there um, for the 2d logo I put a inner shadow and then the other thing that you're always gonna want is you're always gonna want an outline um, for the logo without it as you can see that's what it looks like um, you're always gonna want an outline if you don't have an outline get a stroke put a white stroke on there and then the other thing I'd like to put on is a, uh, a glare which as you can see just took it away um, it's very simple to make Ooh, woo, woo, woo. Um, it's really just a white object with the opacity at about 15 um, 10 to 15 percent um, so it's very very simple it's a very simple thing to make um, and they always improve the way your AVIs will look so the first thing that you're gonna do guys is like I said I'm gonna make this for Psycho Colby the first thing that you're gonna wanna do when you're making an AVI is you're gonna want to get some images for the AVI so I'm gonna do like a Lamborghini um, styled one so I'm gonna take this and just drag it right into Photoshop this is gonna be my background um, always make sure you have an HD background um, otherwise they really won't come out so good um, this one is HD but it was just really really small um, and now I like the sunset so I think I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna try to get to a spot where you can sort of see it right about there where you can still tell it that that's a Lamborghini um, alright perfect so now that I've got that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this into hold alt and drag it into background drag one into text and then drag one into logo and delete that um, so now as you can see we have this and I'm going to take I'm going to go into the text folder I'm going to take this and go right over the text and right click and click create clipping mask and now as you can see it's um, on the text um, and there's a nice outline around it so I'm going to do the same for logo. I'm going to go and create a clipping mask on the 2D logo. And now guys, for the background, the way it's automatically dark is I have a black layer in here. 
um, just to fill black layer um, at 50% over the uh, over the background so it'll you know make it a little bit darker automatically right off the bat um, and lighter in the logo and the text so that's all I do for that and that's very like you could stop here um, this is kind of acceptable um, if you're not I don't want to say a new designer but if you're um, still learning I shouldn't say that either because I'm still learning I'm learning a lot of stuff every day but um, if you are not super experienced um, you could stop here if you don't really know how to use magic bullet looks or um, anything like that um, so yeah so I'm gonna take this Lamborghini logo um, that I took and I'm gonna put this right over the logo itself um, so I'm just going to resize that make it good size oh you can flip it I didn't know that huh. see I'm learning new stuff every day <laughs> um, so I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller than that so that's good right about there now I'm going to rotate it a little bit um, and drag that into the logo folder make sure it's above everything um, no actually I am going to keep that above the outline I guess so I am just going to take hold alt and drag it into um, into there I'm going to make a clipping mask um, onto the 2d logo and then I'm going to hit control T I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger um, and just lower the opacity of it um, so about 40 or 45 should do good All right, so I'm gonna do 45 so now you're practically done um, like I said you could stop here even um, that you could stop here rather than the other point um, that I told you you could stop at this is probably going to look a little bit better than the other thing um, but if you're comfortable with magic bullet looks you can continue to follow along um, follow along I don't know why I said follow along so I'm just going to select all of these and hit control E to merge them um, and go filter magic bullet looks making sure that I'm selected on that um, so just open up magic bullet looks now guys for me this might crash because sometimes magic bullet looks um, doesn't really like me um, I guess this time it did uh, so yeah so I'm just gonna load up magic bullet looks and once you're in just give it a you know good few seconds to or at least I have to always give it a second or two to get used to me because it really like I said it really doesn't like me half the time it'll just crash um, it usually takes me two times of loading it so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you click on subject now go to tools um, and like I said make sure it's on subject and get pop um, I'm gonna drag that down so what pop does is it increases contrast you won't really notice anything um, when you first bring it in that's why you have to come up to here to the controls bring pop all the way up to 100 and then bring size all the way up to 100 so as you can see that creates a really nice um, like a nice contrast um, and I'm going to go to 100 um, just to get it like a you know HD view um, so now I'll zoom out um, to get a better view a nicer view of the car because I like that car um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to select lens or no let's select subject again so make sure you're on subject and get crush now crush some people like to do this some people don't um, basically what this does is it changes up the color um, not the hue but it adds like a you know like a color to it it's actually like a color correction basically so I'm going to change the gamma to 5 um, and pick a color as you can see it just changes up the colors and everything so I'm going to make it kind of like a bright or not a you know bright but um, I'm going to complement that uh, sunset over there with a little bit of orange so 
there's that and then I'll just click up here to get you know a little bit more white in there it's kind of like saturation but it's also not um, you know you can just really got to get it perfect to make it look good um, so that's good right there um, if you want to copy these settings are right here um, and then always do gamma 5 if you bring it up it'll make it even dimmer but gamma 5 to 7 looks good so I'll do 5.6 alright so I'm gonna go to lens now um, this is really where all of the complicated stuff gets um, really not complicated but like I mean complex like it makes it look a lot cooler um, this is really where all of the cool stuff is um, so the first thing I'm going to drag in is haze slash flare not atomorphic flare that's different um, just do haze slash flare and I'll just bring the spillage down to about 30 um, roughly uh, and I'm going to make it like you know nice orange um, orange just to complement the uh, sunset because like I said I really like that um, and as you can see guys it without all of this it looks you know similar like it's in the sunset but with it it makes it look like it's in a sunset ten times more um, like the sun is a little bit closer as you can see it brings all this a little bit orange it makes it look a little bit probably later at night I'd say I don't know maybe a little bit early later in the day right when the Sun is setting um, or earlier later something that makes it look cooler that's all I'm trying to get at um so yeah so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back to tools make sure I'm on lens again and now get uh, lens distortion as you can see it kind of adds like a fisheye bulge to it now if we drag this in that's what we're gonna get we're gonna get it and it's gonna be pretty ugly it's, we're gonna get it all the way out um, to the side so really you only want to do it just a little bit um, you can bulge it but I don't like to do that that much um, I like to keep it simple I like to bring it out um, you know outwards uh, so now that you have that um, really there's nothing that you really need to tweak up here you can do the flatten but that just kind of gets rid of um, the distortion if you bring that down. So um, now I'm going to go back to tools, make sure I'm on lens again. And now I'm going to get the atomorphic flare. Um, and be ready for this because this will actually make it really cool, but it's not easy to do. Um, now, guys, what I mean by it's not easy is this boost thing. You When you use the boost you really want to friggin kill yourself it's just it's so terrible um, it's not a fun process so I'm gonna make orange um, and as you can see if I bring the boost down a little bit like in because if it's at zero um, or around zero it, it's bad it doesn't look good but if it's a little bit under zero like 0 0.1 it doesn't look good either so you really got to get it like just so good you know it's so hard to do um, but one thing that always helps me is zooming into 100% um, so you can see it a little bit better um, and getting the color that I want down first um, so the size really doesn't matter all that much um, but it does it doesn't it, it's less important than the boost is what I'm trying to say um, so I'm gonna go with about never go higher than zero unless you're really comfortable and like the way it looks um, I always like tend to stick around 1.5 um, so 1.3 is pretty it's pretty much perfect for me um, so that looks good uh, so now I'm gonna go back to tools again and I'm going to get chromatic aberration or aberration um, and this doesn't really do anything to the start but when or um, right at the start of it well what you gotta do is you're gonna go to red to cyan red slash cyan and um, do plus one and then green slash magenta and do negative one um, and as you can see if I zoomed in to 100% again um, you get like a nice kind of 3d ish effect um, on like text and all that um, like looking at something that's 3d without 3d glasses um, 
you know, uh, looks pretty dang cool on an AVI. Um, just don't look at like the text where it's too intense, too long because it does start to hurt your eyes. <laughs> um, I learned that from experience. Um, so yeah. So we're gonna go back to tools again, and now I'm gonna get edge softness in lens. Um, bring this circle out a little bit. Basically, what this does is it just blurs the edge. Um, so now we're almost done. One more thing to add, and we're gonna go to post and get curves. So now we'll bring this curve up, bring this one down, bring this one up, bring this one down, bring this one up. Um, now don't do them too crazy. Do them like right, almost right on the lines. Otherwise, it's gonna look pretty bad. Um, so yeah, so that's basically how to do the magic bow looks. Now you're just gonna hit finished, um, and as you're gonna see it here. It's gonna be before, and then once it loads, it's gonna be after, um, and you're gonna be able to see the differences. So as you can see, it did you know? It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so that's how I make an AVI, guys. Now all I gotta do is save it. Um, that's how I make an AVI. So yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for some more tutorials. I think I'm gonna be doing like a banner tutorial next. Um, gonna be 3D, obviously. I, you know, specialize in 3D, not 2D stuff. I'm pretty terrible at 2D. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna probably end up doing a 3D banner tutorial next. Um, so yeah. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for some more tutorials, and I will see you guys later. Peace.